everybody do the sign of rock. This is meaning. You're all amazing. Thank you very much. We've moved to this amazing, huge venue this year and had more people here than ever, which is brilliant. So I'm hosting the whole day. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous about it because, you know, you know, like when you're in a room full of people that are really awesome, you feel a little bit overwhelmed. My name is Mark Stevenson, apparently I'm the Futurologist. What Louise has done with the Meaning Conference is bring together a diverse range of brilliant, challenging voices who are all trying to describe different angles on what purposeful, meaningful business uh, can do for the world. When the winds of change blow, some people build walls and some people build windmills. And today is really about the windmills. And it's just the nicest place. It's full of people who don't just talk about things, it's full of people who do things. You can tell people are talking about the content of the conference and actually kind of debating it out a little bit, which I think is a good sign that the content is actually doing something. You're seeing the possibilities of ideas and more and more people connecting to each other and it gives you a lot of hope. Whether we like it or not, money makes the world go round. Business has got a critical role to play in creating a more humane and just world. It's kind of serious. I mean, it's actually people that are trying to figure out how to make the world a better place. This kind of conference shows that the new economy already exists, it's already happening. We should be building today's economic theory of what folks like these ones are already doing. Trade, by its very nature, it was designed to be about connection and about sharing prosperity. We need to go back to those places. It's about why we do business and what businesses have a role to play in. Because we live in a capitalist society where money talks, I think that the people at the helm and big organizations um, really have to step up. Business has to be part of meeting the needs of all within the means of the planet. We have to take economics out of the ivory towers, out of the equations, and realize that economics is what we all do and think and live and create every day. Business is going to do what people want, and that's generally gadgets and flying cars and stuff like this. How do we get business to do what people need that's a much harder question. Entrepreneurship is limitless, I would say, and if you then create something that really uh, has a purpose and creates real meaning, uh, then you can really change the world. I just want to know what is the work in front of me that I want to give my best effort to. There is hope and we have to, we have, just have to get busy. There's work to be done, but it's not insurmountable. Could there be people living and working on Mars by the time I pay off my mortgage? <laughs> Yes, they really could. I'm fairly convinced that if I don't do what I do, the world stands a slightly immeasurably higher chance of ending inside of my lifetime. This is so much more important than making a salary. 100% slave-free chocolate worldwide can only be reached by the most committed, passionate and happy people. So we work our butts off, but we make it really fun. The plan is not to keep growing just for the sake of it. We want to keep that level of intimacy, that special atmosphere of like minds coming together. Because if you want to subvert the status quo, you have to have more fun than them. And let them know you're having more fun while you're doing it. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming.